So when it comes to backing up your data, whether your personal photos, videos, and music files, or professional work, most people use an external hard drive. However, another option is a network attached storage or a NAS. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the pros and cons of each solution coming up. Hey, what's up? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do a lot of tips and strategy videos as well as tech tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point during the video, we'll list out all of the gear we mentioned in this video in the show notes in the description. So check those out at any time. Let's jump into it. So I've been creating content for the last 15 years, originally just kind of as a hobby and also volunteering at my church. Then eventually I launched a business and started doing video production. And today I'm running Think Media as well as a few other brands with a team. And so our workflow has evolved over the years. Originally, I just kept buying more internal hard drives for my desktop computers, lots of external hard drives. In fact, I've got a pile of them in the other office. And you can imagine that seeing even this image is, is kind of crazy, like that's not a great solution. And so I've realized that my workflow had to evolve and that's what really got me interested in network attached storage. You have better reliability, scalability, your data is more protected. There's a lot of pros to getting a NAS. This particular one is from Synology and they were kind enough to send one out for us to test. And so I'm loving this disk station. We'll talk about it a little bit more in the video, but let's talk about what the difference is between an external hard drive and a NAS solution is and the pros and cons of each. Now, external hard drives are something I'm sure you're familiar with. They come in many different shapes and sizes. They're typically fast, they're affordable, and they're very convenient for storing your data and backing up your data on the go. Additionally, they connect directly to your computer versus connecting to a network like a NAS. However, let's talk about some of the cons. The downsides of an external hard drive is there is no sharing. So if your workflow gets more complex, or even if you just work on your laptop and maybe a home computer of some kind, you have to unplug it from one computer, plug it into the other computer to get access to the data versus being able to access it from multiple different computers with something like a NAS. Furthermore, the downside of external hard drives is that they could be lost, dropped, or stolen. Ultimately, your data is vulnerable. In fact, we've dropped hard drives before and had them stop working and lost all the data and it wasn't able to be recovered. They're also vulnerable because inside of this case here is just one drive. And so this external hard drive is basically just like a case around an actual hard drive inside. And if the drive fails, you would lose your data. As we start talking about a NAS, there's ultimately multiple drives that help you create redundancy so your data is much safer in case one of the hard drives fails. So that brings us to the benefits of getting a NAS. Now, they come in all different shapes and sizes. This one from Synology is the DS1618 Plus. It's won multiple awards. It's super, super cool. Um, but they have ones that have multiple different bays in them. This one happens to have six drive bays. Some have more, some have less. If you enter a NAS, you're always gonna have probably at least two drive bays in um, the different solutions that are out there. And one way to think about this is from a personal standpoint. So let's say you've got multiple computers in your house, a desktop, a couple laptops, maybe you also have a gaming system, you also have a security camera that's kind of capturing footage, keeping your home safe, and you've got uh, maybe a lot of large video files, your iTunes library, music files, and you want all of that data stored in one central place that's accessible from anywhere that is connected to that network. A big difference between an external hard drive is that's plugged directly into a computer, whereas your NAS is gonna be plugged in to a router. And so any computer that is plugged in or even over Wi-Fi, you can get access to all of the data on that NAS. So let's talk about some of the pros of investing in a NAS solution. The first one is thinking about it as like your own personal cloud. So if you ever use Dropbox or Google Drive, that's kind of like you're uploading your files online, you can access them from anywhere with an internet connection. Well, this is like creating your own personal Dropbox, but in this case, you've got all of the data stored yourself, and so no other mega corporation has it. And also, there's scalability. So let's say you were to buy a NAS like this, it has six drive bays, but maybe you only start with two hard drives, 
then you could add more later and you're not gonna pay more fees like you would to getting increasing uh, size on your cloud storage. Another way to think about a NAS is like a bunch of hard drives that are all connected together that have a brain. Ultimately, this is like a computer where this is just a hard drive for storage. Because this is essentially a computer, the cool thing is that when it's up and running and connected to your network, even if this computer was turned off, you could still access this. And one of the cool things about accessing it is again, you could hop on Wi-Fi like here at my home office and be able to transfer files to it or download files off of it and even watch like video files on it real time streaming. So that's super cool. But then you can also access it remote. And so one of the huge benefits of this is again, you're not gonna be able to access your hard drive if you left it somewhere at home or uh, getting really the files to somebody else could be a big hassle. Whereas if you maybe forgot about something you need and you're on the road, you can just log in through a web client and get access to all of the files anywhere with an internet connection. Another benefit is cross-platform access. Now at Think Media, this has been major for us. Over the years, we've been trying to figure out how to uh, collaborate on footage from both a PC and a Mac workflow. This is actually a 4K video editing PC that we have. We did a video about it a while back. If you wanna check that out, we'll link it up on the YouTube card. But like Omar and the Think Media team and Kyle, they both uh, edit on everything Mac. Every, they have all Apple workflows. And what you can do with an external hard drive is typically if it's formatted for Mac, you have trouble accessing that data on PC without special software or vice versa. What's great about this is no matter what device is accessing the data, everybody can collaborate on it no matter what their workflow is. And even when I've worked on other projects, that's been a problem in the past. So this becomes kind of the ultimate solution for making everything work for everybody. But probably one of the biggest benefits of investing in a NAS solution like this is the fact that you can back up and have redundancy of your data. So one of the biggest vulnerabilities, as we mentioned, of this hard drive is there's just one hard drive inside of this enclosure. If you lose it, if you drop it, if you break it, your data is gone. In this case, there's multiple hard drive bays inside of this NAS solution. And what you can do is you can set up different RAID configurations. Now that's a conversation for another day, but ultimately with RAID, what you can do is basically link hard drives together and they could either work together to go faster, so you're writing on both of the drives at the same time, or you can also mirror the data, so ultimately you have two copies of the data at any given time. RAID can get into a lot of different configurations, but what's great about this is, is if one of these hard drives even begins to fail, the software will start telling you there's gonna be a problem, and if it completely fails, because we have it set up to be backed up, all you have to do is pop the drive out, pop another one in, and you're back in a situation where your data is protected. And so we've learned as we continue to you know, work on different professional projects and continue to shoot more footage, our data is super important, especially if you're doing freelance work or client work. Having a workflow that really protects your data I think is very important because your content is really your income. Your content is your cash. And so ultimately, uh, having RAID solutions and different backup solutions is a whole nother level of protection. Now, one thing to define is the difference between redundancy and backing up your data. Technically, if you really wanna have your data backed up, it needs to be in two places and they need to be in two different locations. Because here's the deal, if this house burned down, it doesn't matter if there's redundancy here, you'd still lose everything that's on these drives. So a true backup would be potentially uh, getting everything on some other device and getting it off site. But the thing with redundancy is again, if there's a crash, you just know that you can always have that data recovered because you've got it backed up through your NAS. However, of course there are cons that come along with investing in a NAS solution. So let's talk about those. The first being price. Ultimately to get into an external hard drive that even potentially has quite a bit of space for your data can be relatively inexpensive. Whereas if you invest in a solution like this NAS right here, there's a couple things to consider. Number one, the first thing you pay for is just the housing itself. Typically, they don't come with any drives installed. And so this particular Synology has a starting price of around $750 here in the US, and that's before you start with storage. Now, there's all those other benefits, right? It does like a million things more than an external hard drive, but then on top of that, you need to invest in the actual hard drives themselves. The cool thing is, you only really need to get started with 
uh, potentially one, but you could get started with two drives and you could expand to more drives later, which is great. Instead of just buying more drives and having multiple different USB connections like I've been doing in my other office, you could you know, invest in your solution and it'll grow with you over time. And speaking of hard drives, the other thing to wrap your head around is the fact that if you're gonna create data redundancy, you would wanna buy two different hard drives. So let's say you wanna have four terabytes of storage. So you buy two four terabyte drives. The reason you're doing that is when you set that up as a RAID, one of those drives is basically just mirroring the other one, backing it up. So if one fails, your data is gonna be absolutely okay. But in a way, you have to be thinking, I'm gonna pay twice as much because there's two hard drives that are installed to make that happen. One way to think about it is kind of like insurance. You know, you pay for your car insurance and it could be kind of expensive and you never have anything go wrong, so it's no big deal. When you invest in a NAS, you might actually be investing more money, but what you're paying for is the insurance if something goes wrong. You get in a car crash, you're gonna be really thankful that you have insurance. You invest in a NAS and you have your data redundant, you're gonna be really thankful that you had a solution set up like this should a crash come your way. And the truth is, inevitably, someday, you're probably gonna have a hard drive crash, so it's very important to be thinking about backing up your data. Another con to consider is the speed. Typically, you would be using this for kind of your own cloud storage. You'd be using it for accessing photos and videos and even playing video content, but maybe not actual video editing. You're ultimately limited by the cable itself. And on the back here, it's a one gigabit connection that connects to your router. And so uh, we tried editing 4K footage um, kind of just over the network and it was, it, it, you could do it, but it was like super clunky and slow versus when you plug an external hard drive in, you can actually access that footage at faster speed. However, this particular Synology, the DS1618 Plus, um, allows for expandability. You can actually add more RAM, you can add a uh, SSD disk cache so it'll go faster and you can install a card to get a 10 gigabit connection, kind of blowing the roof off on your speeds, whether you're on the road or even on a local network. And those are all upgrades that we plan on doing. And so uh, just something to consider, especially if you're researching different solutions, it's not necessarily something you'd be working off all of the time unless you had a pro unit like this one. And one other con to mention is the complexity of setting up a NAS solution. Again, an external hard drive is pretty dead simple. Plug it into your computer and you're good to go. In this case, you are thinking about which hard drives you wanna to get to install in the NAS. You're gonna set it up. Uh, you gotta do the software, connect it to your router, your network, and get it all going. And that is gonna take a little bit of a learning curve. However, I think it's something that you definitely should uh, consider. And actually, Kyle Anderson on the Think Media team um, was setting this up for us, and one of the things he reported was just how easy they've made it. I think Synology has tried to decomplexify, if that's a word, the um, challenge of getting this all put together. Ultimately, you just open these bays, slide the drives right in there, and one of the coolest things about Synology products that everybody absolutely loves is the software. I think that's actually kind of the game changer because they make it very user friendly to access your file station, to access all the settings. So ultimately, even if you're new to NAS like we are, um, you can still figure it out, set up the solution, and know that everything's gonna work great because they've made it so user-friendly. So in summary, and a few final things to consider, if you are kind of a newer content creator or you just want a simple solution for backing up your footage, you're probably good with an external hard drive. However, you might wanna start thinking about multiple hard drives. Like if you're gonna buy one, thinking about at least buying two so you have actual redundancy in case there is a failure. And then if you're a little bit more advanced or if you're already a professional uh, when it comes to video or photo and you really have precious and important data, I would really consider thinking about a NAS solution, even if that's something that comes down the road for you or something that you maybe jump into right now, understanding that it is scalable, investing in the unit, getting a few drives, and then adding on over time so you don't just have to keep getting more external hard drives. And if you wanna check out any of the gear that we talked about in this video, I'll put a full list of those links in the description below. And uh, you can also check out our series where we're gonna talk a little bit more about this Synology disk station. So check out a link to that as well.
Question of the day, what kind of content and data are you backing up? Are you doing professional work? Are you just doing hobby work? And what is your current storage solution? Let me know in the comments section below. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe and ring the bell. Uh, so thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe and ring the bell for more content like this. And if you wanna see other videos in our computers and workflow series where we talk about video editing and backing up your footage and stuff like that, click or tap the screen right there for another video from Think Media. Click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, this channel is all about bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon.